Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. We have a body armor slash bullet test today. This one will hopefully be very brief because I only have one bullet type and that is from Remington. This is the 55 grain pointed soft point 30-06 Sabo or Sabot as some people will like to say it. I picked up a box of these from Matt over at CRS Firearms. If you've been a viewer for a while, you know that I love rare and obscure ammunitions, especially when we can get a lot of speed out of one. So I wanted to see how this particular design performs against body armor, seeing how level four body armor has come become very cheap and budget friendly. We've got one of our budget friendly LA Police Gear level four plates here. It's the Illumina tile, done really well in the past against some of our advanced threats. So I wanted to see how it would perform. So on my channel, we stick to a few NIJ constants so that we have this data that we can take away from it. We shoot at 45 feet, that is the NIJ testing distance. We shoot at zero degrees. We use a giant clay briefcase filled with Roma Plastilina, number one clay, so we have a compressible media as a backer. It's only about 60 degrees outside today, so it's gonna give us you know, just a representation of what back face can be, but it beats throwing it, the plate on the ground or up a steel target or hanging it from a steel target because we're gonna get maximum energy transfer on our plate. Unfortunately, I only have one barrel length afforded to us. That is a Winchester Model 70 with a 22 inch barrel. So that should do pretty good for our testing. It doesn't have any muzzle brakes or suppressors on the end of it. So our Sabo doesn't have a chance of hitting any of that. Also, since this piece of body armor has a ceramic strike face per the NIJ, I performed a drop test where I dropped this guy on his face two times from a little test rig. So we kind of do a preconditioned on the face. I figured I'd take about five shots on this plate if possible, as long as I can hit where I'm aiming at. One thing I've read a, a lot about these Sabos is they aren't the most accurate. So hopefully at 45 feet, they are pretty good. I'm really interested to see what velocity these can obtain from this barrel. I shot two off camera and we got one going about 3,800 feet per second. So that's smoking fast for a 55 grain load. This first one is going to be in the upper left of the plate, hopefully. And I shot dead center and didn't get a velocity reading off that. So we are about four, four inches low and about two inches to the right. Okay. So if I place this other one right about here this should be end up in the lower right hand corner still doing a velocity off that okay how about now we're right inside the chronograph I wonder if it's picking up the Sabo or something because the velocity is really, really low on it. And we'll take another shot for good measure. Where do I want to hit to make sure I'm on the plate? Thirty-eight, forty-eight. Wow, those are fast. All right, let's go see what we did to that plate. Well, at least the one successful part of this test is I got all four shots on our plate. I would consider all these a fair hit. The NIJ testing allows a minimum of two inches per hit, and these are well over that. Sometimes they use even three. So shot number one, number two, number three, and number four. Destroyed one of my straps already those bets in the comments below oh no pass through at all folks and the dimples on those nothing to write a home about with level four interesting so a 55 grain pointed soft point going 3800 feet per second is no match at least with an alumina tile array plate these tiles are pretty thick they're about 420 thousandths in total thickness. Aluminum is really good at stopping a lot of threats. 
the plates kind of falling apart already you'll see some big chunks taken out of this this one has a reduced strike face foam on there okay so we are shooting mr watermelon today we are hoping he explodes he is our army watermelon today so let's get shooting him Well, if anything, this will be a very short video. Some of my body armor and ammo testing can be quite long, but our Remington Accelerator stood no chance against that level four plate from LA Police Gear. Now, there are different types of materials that you can put in Sabos. There's the 308 slap rounds, and we've shot those against level four before, and those are going 4,000 feet per second with a tungsten core, and those suckers just sailed right through. The sun is starting to set, and the wind is starting to pick up, so that's my cue to make like a treat and leaf. At the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who helped make these possible. Number one is my Patreon supporters. Number two is Matt over at CRS Firearms, who had that cool box of Remington accelerators for us to demo over here. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.